Good morning YouTube. Uh, we are just off Hayley Island Sailing Club uh, and the entrance to Chichester Harbour. And today we're going to go east, well northeast, uh, up the various channels around into Chichester Marina. So this is the main route uh, that people will take. It's also the route to three decent, count them, three decent anchorages uh, and we'll point them out as we go. Chichester Harbour is a large natural harbour to the southwest of the city of Chichester on the south coast of England. And in the last Chichester Harbour video we did, we entered the harbour from the sea and then went up to the Emsworth Channel to Northney Marina. This time, we're going to the opposite end of the harbour, up the Chichester Channel. We'll pass by three excellent anchorages, East Head, Pilsey and Chalk Dock Point, before finishing up in the top right hand corner at Chichester Marina. The first challenge is to pass safely round the three green lateral buoys to starboard. These mark the edge of the Winner, which is a gravel and stone bar that sits in the easterly two thirds of the harbour mouth and at many states of the tide is not visible. But pass this way at low water and it's easy to see the danger of getting this wrong. The Stocker, which is the first port hand mark, looks from a distance as if it's part of the route round the bar and care has to be taken not to get confused. But once the route's opened up, you can clearly see the way and shape a course for the Chichester Channel. The westerly end of the sand dunes at the Witterings is a popular spot and on sunny days it can be packed with beach lovers. But here, at the western tip of the dunes, it's a long hike from the nearest car park, so this beach is used more exclusively for those arriving by boat. So this is the anchorage at East Head and uh, it's a lovely place to anchor, but there are some dead spots that you've got to be really wary of. The Harbour Authority have recently installed some green starboard hand buoys to mark the contour of the shallowest areas and boats with the right type of keel often take the ground on purpose to be closer to the beach. But that seems to act as a lure for those with thin keels who don't seem to want to do the basic maths and so it's a regular sight to see someone over on their beam ends. It's a good anchorage and a lovely place to spend some time but it does get extremely busy and that can make it a less relaxing place than it deserves to be. Down there is the Thorny Channel and there is a marina down there, Thorny Marina. Uh, which is uh, okay for smaller boats uh, and things that uh, and boats that will dry. At the entrance to the Thorny Channel is Pilsey Island, and just outside the Mark Channel is the second of our designated anchorages. The Camber Southern Cardinal Mark marks the deep water entrance. Passing west takes you to the Pilsey Anchorage, and to the east the main route up to Chichester. It's worth noting that atop the beacon is a set of weather monitoring equipment. Here we have Camber Met. Another excellent live weather monitoring station that can be accessed via the interwibble. So that's Chalk Knock Point, and there's a good anchorage just round here. This is the last of the three anchorage areas, and this one is often the quietest. No beach here, but if you have a dinghy with an engine or feel competent rowing a fair distance, you can get up to Itchina. As we continue east, the channel starts to funnel towards what can be another confusing array of buoyage and moored boats. As we're going east on the Chichester Channel, we have to find the clear route between the many moorings. To the north, the Bosham Channel takes you, unsurprisingly, to Bosham, which is very pretty but dries and isn't a destination for confidence. If we keep an eye out to starboard for the green boy named Fairway, and on the port side, the South Cardinal called Deep End, then despite the dense cluster of moored boats, eventually you'll be able to pick your way through to a more obvious channel. On the southern shore is the pretty village of Itchener. Originally a centre for shipbuilding in the days of sail, it's now the location of choice for wealthy second homeowners. There are a couple of jetties, the first is the North Shore Shipyard, which is private, and the next is the public jetty at Itchner. The Itchner ferry operates from here, either taking passengers across the water or operating as a water taxi for boats moored along the Itchner Reach. You can moor up at the jetty at all states of the tide, but only for 20 minutes. Fresh water is available along with black water pump out. 
The usual plan for visitors is to pick up one of the visitors' moorings and go ashore using your own dinghy or the ferry. <coughs> Once past Ditchina, it's a long steady run for about a mile, lined on both sides with boats on the river and some very big houses on the shore. The, uh, the row of moorings uh, has finished, you're then presented with quite a large pool of water. We're in high water now, um, so you can't really tell where the shallows are. But there's two marinas here, there's Burden Pool and then there's Chichester Marina. Both have entrance channels and the start of each is marked by a sturdy piling topped by a large starboard hand mark. Both marinas are entered via a lock and both entrance channels are marked only on the starboard side by posts. Burdham is one of the oldest marinas in England, whilst Chichester has the honour of being one of the largest. Smaller craft with shoal draft can, at the top of the tide, continue on to Del Quay, but this is about as far as confidence can go. So that's it, we're at Chichester Marina. Um, we're turning round now. We're going to go and uh, anchor up somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.